Okay, another interesting tool of generators is a spline mask. In a previous lesson, as I said, we have in a spline boolean comments is are about the spline and combining them to each other and make another spline from your basic parametric spline here. For example, we have a <clears throat> we have a circle here and then insert the, for example flower here and move it aside as i said before if you want to combine them you have to select them and go into the spline the boolean comments for example subtract them union them as you see but what happens if we <clears throat> execute that comment all of this spline will be gone and these tools called destructive comments that destruct everything every spline that we draw here and combine them for example union them to the one spline and you cannot uh, go back and edit them but if you want to go back and edit them you have to use non-destructive tools these non-destructive tools that act like boolean um, spline called spline mask use it you have to click and drag and make uh, these two spline child of the spline mask and it's act for you you can click it and in a mood you can change it union the first type is union the access the engine of the uh, projection and doing that is in <clears throat> z axis you can change it i will be show you in a second and you can go back and simply change your parametric for example add a ring here as you can see you can union them okay this is a uh, first mode union <clears throat> the second mode is subtract a subtract b you bring it back to the cycle okay in a spline mice the hierarchy is very important when we want to sub use a subtract the first uh, spline is the main object and the second uh, object is the object that will be subtract from the main object for example i want to flower subtract to the circle so i click and drag it and bring it up above the flower this is uh, a and b and then you can a subtract b as you can see the flower subtract from circle <clears throat> interesting part is that you can subtract any spline that you want for example subtract cockwheel from that bring it here and bring the cockwheel down here below the flower and you can subtract two spline any spline from the main object and simply you can go in and change them change its settings very simple this is power of a spline mask <clears throat> the another mode is b subtract a don't use that you will be confused just a b you remember that it is a and all of this spline below that are b spline okay we delete the cock wheel okay we bring uh, flower inside and make it a little smaller and you can see it's in a subtract but we don't see what is happening here for seeing that that what is happening here the spline tool has a tool that create cap is when tick that you can see it's really uh, re subtract this flower inside of the circle when you want to see what happened you can click uh, create cap here to see what happened okay uh, another part another sitting is going to model mode what am i doing here another model is um bring it up another mode is and as you can see it keeps the common part of area of the uh, spline and the circle and the flower this is and 
Another operation is or. What happened in or? Came here. To see what happened in the or, it's the vice versa of the and. You can simply create can to see what happened in the or. It remain the other part except the common part of that. This is or. Another part is the intersect. Intersect, if you do it like this, you tell me it's uh, like a uh, union, but it's not. If you, to, to see the intersect mode, to see inter intersect mode, uh, you, uh, going back, I want to tell you something. For example, the union. And after that, you can make them editable. You can simply go click on exploit mice and editable that. And after that, everything is finished. We have we don't have any uh, exploit mice. And you can now edit point. Okay. And also, you can use uh, extrude. Simply extrude. Click and drag exploit mouse on the wrist extrude. And you can extrude from here and in the interesting you can going back to the flower and ch change the petals for example interesting you can do everything with this too release it from the extrude okay <clears throat> i want to explain what happened in intersection if you uh, click an intersection for see that you have to make an editable as i said before in a previous lesson it intersect, it cuts the flower and the circle. In it's this point that has intersect each other. Select one of the point, right, uh, going to the select, and select connected. You can move them, as you can see, it's make the three objects like this. Three the objects like this. Select connected, and you can see we have a three part. Uh, the part, the area that are not common with two spline, then the common area of the spline here. Intersect, common, do like that. Okay. And I want to say something about uh, this software can uh, Boolean work in 3D. For example, uh, we bring two circle here and <clears throat> change it in the Z axis. You can simply going and bring a spline mask and do the spline mask like this union and it is union them in 3d it's very interesting and in axis you can go into the align z or you can going align the y from top for doing that we have to rotate for example this here and that circle for example here to see on the, the top and you can change the projection of this uh, tool align y or align x you can change it and do that like this or in a viewport you can simply change it in a viewport it's come for example uh, union them in the direction of your camera as you can see you can rotate it and it's for keep for example i like this position i want to keep that position you have to make it editable and everything finish okay the you have to for accurate modeling uh, spline acting you have to keep it along z and do it like this okay this is a spline mask hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release